The Ranchers is a game that just launched on Kickstarter, and it is quite similar to Stardew Valley. You are living in a big busy city, and after a few years of stress and anguish, you finally decided to move into a small town down by the countryside on your very own piece of land. You can do whatever you want to do on this land, as it literally starts as an empty plot. All you have is yourself and a tent. Which is absolutely perfect because this game combines the housing building aspects of the sims into a farming sim game. You can place down foundations and create any shaped house you desire. You then build walls, doors, carpets and naturally you have a huge selection of decorations to place in your house. This is an actual dream for you creative players that want to express yourselves with a uniquely beautifully decorated house. Home. All I can say is that I will definitely have an overly large mansion on my farm that is completely empty. Since this is a farming simulator, you will be doing plenty of that. The game follows the normal farming simulator gameplay loop. You hoe the ground, you sow it with seeds, place down some fertilizer, and then water them until they are ready for harvesting. Naturally, there are tons of different crops to plant and there are four seasons. Look at how winter looks. Don't worry guys, the game has sprinklers, so we are safe. It's a simple farming mechanic that we have seen before, but we love it. What would a farming game be without farm animals? Well then, the ranchers have got you covered. The animal system in this game looks considerably more in-depth than the games we have already played. You can put a leash on your animals so they can follow you around. You will need a pickup truck or some large vehicle to transport your large animals. Or you can just place a chicken on the back of your bicycle. Naturally, you will need to feed them and take care of your animals' needs to ensure that they are happy and produce the best quality products that money can buy. From the announcement trailer, we can see that the game has cows, goats, chickens, and even horses. I expect that there will be plenty more animals than this, but only time will tell. Look at how cute their enclosures look, especially those coops. I am quite excited to see what else the ranching aspect of this game has to offer. Now, this is something that intrigues me. In Stardew Valley, we get a simple greenhouse, but this game seems to do it differently. Based on the trailer, it looks like we get to build greenhouses from the ground up and in any shape or sizes we want to. Most importantly, you can build as many greenhouses as you want. I expect that crops will grow faster inside of greenhouses or their quality will be better since crops that grow in greenhouses are shielded from the elements and more of the aspects that could affect the crops can be controlled. I love this idea. This is another thing that I found incredibly interesting in the game. It seems that you will start off with a humble bicycle for transport and as you gain fame and wealth in this small town, you might be able to afford bigger, better, faster vehicles. Naturally, you should always have a truck or two for transporting animals or goods. But you you can buy a G-Wagon or even this random sporty looking car. I love this idea as well. This will seriously show your progression increase as you play the game. From an unreliable dinky scrap wagon to the car that turns heads in the town. I just hope that we get to control the vehicle so that I can cause some chaos and pretend I am playing GTA every now and then. No farming simulator is complete without a potential love interest. Luckily for us, this game has us covered. You can meet the locals, give them gifts, and form bonds with them. And then go on fun and exciting adventures with them. You can dance with your target at the local cafe, ride on a hot air balloon, take them for a drive in your sweet ride, and hopefully marry them and let them move into your perfectly crafted home on your farm. These character models too look a little bit strange, but I am under the impression that these are just placeholders. I mean, look at the concept art for the planned NPCs in the game. These kinda look amazing.
Now, there are a few other things to do in this game besides farming and building a house. You can fish anywhere and that's because you can ride a boat out into the sea. You can get onto the back of your favorite horse and hunt for wildlife with the aid of your dogs. Wow, these devs are ambitious. Name a feature or a game mechanic and this game probably has it. And you can explore an ancient forgotten ruin filled with secrets that no man has seen before. Here you can mine for resources, you can fight dangerous enemies, and yes, you can dodge roll in this game. Which is something I wish I had against those pesky royal serpents. Do you love loot, gems, and precious items? Well, you will need to get past this behemoth of a boss. Look at the size of that chest. But the boss does not look easy. You might not know this, but I love boss fights. Remember when I said this game will give you complete freedom to do whatever you want? Well, when you complete the game and are fully fulfilled, you can set your entire farm on fire and watch it burn. Yep, you get that kind of freedom in this game. According to the devlog, everything in the entire game is interactable, which means we can get extremely creative and do some crazy stuff in the game. I can't wait to break the game. Now for something I was not expecting. Expecting. You will start off with swords, maybe a bow and arrow, and then a hunting rifle. But what about a fully loaded weapon of mass destruction that you can use to shoot and harvest trees? Sure, why not? And yes, it can even harvest stone. Doubt it'll be efficient, but pretty cool for the super end game. Let's speedrun some cool mechanics in this game. You use your phone for most of the UI elements, and you can chat with your neighbors on your phone. Cool for maybe setting up special events with your favorite characters. The game has seasons, but look at how thick the snow is. Very impressive. You can dive into water and just have a swim. You need to transport your animals using vehicles because they are kind of big. You can harvest wood by chopping down trees with axes. Or you can burn down the tree. Or you can drive over the tree with your car. Wow, this game has freedom. Doesn't this game just look like it would be great in multiplayer? Yeah, it does. And yes, it does have multiplayer. It actually takes it a little bit further than just playing with your friends. You can trade your resources for money on a global auction house. Yeah, you heard me right. So when you reach the super end game and have all of the money you could ever need, you could just lazily buy resources from other players. That's good. Okay, so let's be serious. These developers are extremely ambitious. There are a ton of features that they want in this game. But you know, if they can pull it off and make this game with all of these features whilst being polished and bug free, this might be the best farming simulator ever. They just launched their Kickstarter, so if you are interested in this game, go check it out. There is more information about the game over there and support them for an early access to their beta. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.